Rhyme Bill is now online. Hey guys and girls, today is going to be the first tutorial in a series of Basics of JavaScript. Here we go! For this series, I'm probably not going to use HTML too often, I'm just going to use the tag script. This will pretty much contain all our JavaScript. When coding, a variable is a pretty neat feature. For example, to declare a variable in JavaScript, all you have to type in is var, and then you want to follow it by the name of your variable, then you want to set it equal to whatever. So here we have a variable coolkids, and we can set this equal to a number, a text, or we can set it equal to an array, but we're going to leave the array for the next video. And since we're still here, we can set our coolkids variable to number 2. And of course, since we have coolkids, we're going to have to make another variable and call it not cool kids. And then we have 10 not cool kids. Awesome. And a cool trick you can do with variables is arithmetic. So what we're going to do here is to find a number of all kids combined and then we're going to set it to a cool kids plus not cool kids. Just to be sure it works, we're going to use document all right to display our variable values. Just to start things off, we're going to display cool kids. If you haven't already, go ahead and save your work as a .html file. And of course, let's open it up. And as you can see, it writes 2, because cool kids is equal to 2. And now you can play around with the other variables too. And that's great, you can see our total kids variable works. And since this is just math, you can go ahead and use other arithmetic operations. And you can see the values change when you refresh the page. Don't feel stuck to using document, all right? You can also use console.log to check out the same value. All you have to do is go into inspect element and then you can see it in your log section. Apart from console.log, you can use an alert system which is kind of the same thing, except this appears when you first open your page. Alrighty, the next type of variable we can have is a text variable. This is different from a number variable in the sense that it's encapsulated in quotes. This could either be a single quote or a double quote. And for the sake of grammar, I'm just going to remove the S's from our variables. And here you can kind of see our total kids is kind of the same. It's not really adding the letters and making new letters like our numbers do, but it's just combining the strings. Awesome! Alrighty, so we're going to wipe everything clean and I'm going to show you a new type of variable. This variable is going to be integrating HTML2. So we're going to make a variable that refers to an HTML element and then we can change the HTML element using JavaScript. Here we go. So pretty much what I'm doing is creating a variable text and this text is going to be equal to an HTML element which has an ID of text. So once I have this ID of text, then I can use this variable to do whatever I want. So I'm planning on making this text say something pretty cool. <laughs> so I just realized naming the variable text and having the ID also text might confuse you guys. So here I'm going to fix that. Perfect, and I can see the text is being displayed in our paragraph tag. Awesome. And that's going to be it for now. That has been Variables, the basics of JavaScript. And thanks to this man over here for suggesting this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And you know, rhyme bell out. <laughs>